The joint PDF of X and Y is uh, 2E negative X plus 2Y. Find the variance of Y given X is greater than 3 and Y is greater than 3. Now, in any kind of these conditional problems, you first try to see if the variables are independent or not. Uh, remember, we need two conditions for them to be independent. One is that the domain should be a rectangle, which it is because y x greater than zero means x between zero and infinity, y greater than zero means y between zero and infinity. And by a rectangle, what we really mean is that all the four limits should be constant. So constant, 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 constant. Remember, infinity is a constant. So uh, this is a rectangle, infinite rectangle. It's the whole first quadrant. So the first condition is true. And the second condition is that you should be able to write the joint PDF as a product of one variable times the product of the other variable, which is also something we can do here because we can break this up into e to the negative x and e to the negative 2y and then write it like this, for example. So this, you can like think of 2e negative x times e to the negative 2y. So the we have separated it out into product of one variable only and the product of the other variable only. So x and y are independent because both the conditions of independence are true. And uh, the advantage of recognizing this is that now we can say that the variance of y does not depend on whatever x is given to be. So uh, variance of y given x greater than three and y greater than three is simply equal to, so they had x here, so let's just write in that order. They first had x and then they had y. And what we said is, it does not depend at all on what X is because X and Y are independent. So variance of Y does not depend on X. So therefore, this is the same as variance of Y given Y greater than three. You can completely ignore the X now once you have established the independence. So we are just reduced to finding variance of Y given Y greater than three. Next, you note from the joint PDF uh, that um, the individual, in case of independent uh, situation, it ends up being product of one, uh, the PDF of one variable times the product of PDF of the other variable. So uh, PDF of X has to be e to the negative X and uh, of Y has to be 2e negative 2y. These two multiply to give you the joint product. And the reason why it has to be like this is that uh, we can see that both X and Y have to be exponential and an exponential uh, PDF is of this form, KE negative KT. Uh, sometimes we write it as one over KE to the negative T over K mm, to stress that K is the mean. But the point is that uh, whatever you have with the T over here, uh, um, the ignoring the negative, you ha have to have the same coefficient uh, uh, besides the T. And therefore the only way this can happen for both of these is, okay, here you just have a one. So you have to have a one here and here you have a two here. So you have to have a two here. So this is the, um, this tells us that these are the two uh, individual PDFs of the X variable and the Y variable. So we are just interested in y because we want variance y given y greater than three. And the next uh, nice thing is that exponential distribution is memory less. And uh, it has a few implications. And the implication that we need over here is that the conditional variance of an exponential distribution is the same as the original variance without any condition. So in other words, the variance of y given y greater than three is just the variance of y. And again, this is only because y is exponential. Whenever y is exponential, this kind of thing will always hold. This would also hold if you had y less than three here. <laughs> okay. Um, so basically variance of y given y greater than a or y less than a is the same as variance of y as long as y is exponential. Finally, uh, 
now we have reduced the problem to just finding the variance of y. And since y is exponential, we know that for an exponential distribution, the variance equals the square of the mean. And since the distribution of y was 2e negative 2y, so from here we can see that the mean is 1 half. Remember, if we write it as 1 over ke negative y over k, then k is the mean. So whatever the coefficient is, the mean is the reciprocal. So if the mean is 1 half, then the variance is square of it. Square of 1 half is 0.25, and that is choice A.